Hi, welcome back. We're gonna have a cook today. Um, I'm glad you are joining me in this reading. And before we start, let's go ahead and open in prayer. Heavenly Father, we are blessed for another day. I thank you for the viewer wherever they are. May you be with them in their in their homes, in their workplace, wherever they are. May the may your uh, protection cover them. May they trust you. May we have steady hearts and minds, calm our spirits, Lord, as we get ready to dive into the word. And I, I pray that it is your message that is heard and not my own. I pray for everything that's going on in the world, Lord, that we just give it to you and that we have faith that everything will work out. We pray for those talks of, of peace and those treaties. We pray that our leaders can come up with a solution and that wars can end. But Lord, no matter what, I just ask that we trust you. Help us trust you. May we have faith, Lord. May we have faith and believe that all will be well. And then no matter what it looks like, know that you are there and that you take care of your people. Please bless this reading. May our hearts and our minds be at a place to understand, receive it. And one day I pray share. I thank you for this day. May we bring you into it, spend the day with you as we are in this reading in hopes to grow in relationship with you. I pray that we have that state of mind throughout the day. It is in your precious name I pray, amen. Okay, the book of Habakkuk. The burden which the prophet Habakkuk saw. The prophet's question. O oh Lord, how long shall I cry and you will not hear? Even cry out to you violence and you will not save. Why do you show me iniquity and cause me to see trouble? For plundering and violence are before me. There is strife and contention arises. Therefore the law is powerless and justice never goes forth for the wicked surround the righteous. Therefore perverse judgments proceeds. We can relate to that, that that's happening right now. There are people suffering that are thinking, looking around in, in their circumstances and thinking that wickedness is prevailing and that judgment isn't going to come and um, the wicked are just surrounding them. So it could be a, a time of feeling powerless, lo losing hope, not believing. It could be that way. So Habakkuk's just questioning it. The Lord's reply, look among the nations and watch be utterly astounded. So pay attention, for I will work a work in your days, which you would not believe though it were told you. For indeed I am rising up the Chaldeans, a bitter and hasty nation, which marches through the breadth of the earth to possess dwelling places that are not theirs. They are terrible and dreadful. Their judgment and their dignity proceed for, from themselves. Their horses also are swifter than leopards and more fierce than evening wolves. Their charges charge ahead, their cavalry comes from afar. They fly as the edge that hastens to eat. They all come for violence. Their faces are set like the east wind. They gather captives like sand. They scoff at kings and princes are scorned by them. They deride every stronghold for they heap up earthen, ma earthen mounds and seize it. Then his mind changes and he transgresses. He commits offense, ascribing this power to his God. This is talking about the Chaldeans, but we can um, use that in a time of war. We're in a time of war right now with Ukraine and Russia in the Middle East. And um, I could see where where these questions are valid. And I could, I could say, yes, it looks like that. They are. They are doing this. Um, but we could... Um, we could be certain that God is in the middle of it and there is a plan. Let me keep reading the prophet's second question, 12. Are you not from everlasting, O Lord, my God, my Holy One? We should, we shall not die, O Lord. You have appointed them for judgment. O rock, you have marked them for correction. You are of purer eyes than to behold evil and cannot look on wickedness. Why do you look on those who deal treacherously and hold your tongue when the wicked devours? A person more righteous than he. Why do you make men like fish of the sea, like creeping things that have no ruler over them? They take up all of them with a hook. They catch them in their net and gather them in their dragnet. Therefore, they rejoice and are glad. Therefore, they sacrifice for the net and burn incense to their dragnet. Because by them, their share is sumptuous and their food plentiful. Shall they therefore empty their net and continue to slay nations without pity? How long will this go on? 
how long will um he it, when we read righteous for some reason i want to mean it to i want to believe it to also mean innocent but that just means those living in um in my opinion living according to god's will okay so when it says righteous I'm I'm thinking innocent. So why why do the wicked get away with hurting the innocent? Why do the wicked get away and seem to scoff and celebrate? How long will this go on? Is the question. Okay, but in chapter two, I will stand my watch and set myself on the rampart and watch to see what he will say to me and what I will answer when I am corrected. The just live by faith. Then the Lord answered me and said. Write the vision and make it plain on tablets. I like that. Make it plain. Just say it how it is. That he may run who reads it. For the vision is yet for an appointed time. But at the end it will speak and it will not lie. Though it tarries, wait for it. Because it will surely come. It will not tarry. It will not t take forever. Behold the proud. His soul is not upright in him. But the just shall live by his faith. It's important to keep our faith. Even in times of trouble. Woe to the wicked, verse 5. Indeed, because he transgresses by wine, he is a proud man, and he does not stay at home, because he enlarges his desire as hell, and he is like death and cannot be satisfied. He gathers to himself all nations and heaps up for himself all peoples. Will not all these take up a proverb against him? And a taunting riddle against him and say, Woe to him who increases what is not his how long how long will you take what is not yours how long will you plunder our belongings after you have come in and caused destruction and and wars battles with the people how long will you get away with it <clears throat> woe to him who increases what is not his how long and to him who loads himself with many pledges will not your creditors rise up suddenly will they not awaken who oppress you and you will become their booty because you have plundered many nations all the remnant of the people shall plunder you. Booty is like um, your supplies. Like if somebody came in in this house and they took me out and then they took all my belongings. All those belongings are what they call a booty. And he's saying um, right here, and you will become the booty that you will be taken captive. You will be taken away as you have been taken from others. <clears throat> Eight, because you have plundered many nations, all the remnant of the people shall plunder you because of men's blood and the violence of the land and the city and all who dwell in it. Woe to him who covets evil gain for his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of disaster. You give shameful counsel to your house, cutting off many peoples and sin against your soul. For the stone will cry out from the wall and the beam from the timbers will answer it. Woe to him who builds a town with bloodshed who establishes a city by iniquity. Behold, is it not of the Lord of hosts that the peoples labor to feed the fire and nations worry themselves in vain? For the earth will be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Woe to him who gives drink to his neighbor, pressing him to your bottle, even to make him drunk, that you may look on his nakedness. You are filled with shame instead of glory. You also drink and be exposed and as uncircumcised, the cup of the Lord's right hand will be turned against you, and utter shame will be on your glory, for the violence done to Lebanon will cover you, and the plunder of beasts which made them afraid because of men's blood, and the violence of the land and the city and all who dwell in it. What profit is the image that its maker should carve it? Let me say that again. What profit is the image that its maker should, car should carve it? The molded image, a teacher of lies, that the maker of its mold should trust in it to make mute idols. Woe to him who says to wood, awake, to silence, don't arise. It shall teach. Behold, it is overlaid with gold and silver, yet in it there is no breath at all. He's talking about the idols that are just a, a figurine. It's, 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 it might as well be like your kid's toy. You know, it doesn't do anything. You're, they're praying to a, a godless idol. Um, but the Lord is in this in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. The prophet's prayer, chapter three. A prayer of Habakkuk, the prophet, on Shig um, Shiganoth. O Lord, I have heard your speech and I was afraid. 
O oh Lord, you revive your work in the midst of the years. In the midst of the years, make it known. In wrath, remember mercy. In his judgment, may he be merciful to those that seek him. God came from Taman, the Holy One from Mount Paran. His glory covered the heavens, and the earth was full of his praise. His brightness was like the light. He had rays flashing from his hand, and there his power was hidden. Before him went pestilence, and fever followed at his feet. He stood and measured the earth. He looked and startled the nations. And the everlasting mountains were scattered. The perpetuous hills bowed. His ways are everlasting. I saw the tents of Cushan in affliction. The curtains of the land of Midian trembled. O oh Lord, you were displeased with the rivers. Was your anger against the rivers? Was your wrath against the sea? That you rode on your horses, your chariots of salvation? Your bow was made quite ready. Oaths were sworn over your arrows. Salah. You divided the earth with rivers. The mountains saw you and trembled. The overflowing of the water passed by. The deep uttered its voice and lifted its hands on high. The sun and moon stood still in their habitation. At the light of your arrows they went, at the shining of your glittering spear. You marched through the land in indignation. You trampled the nations in anger. You went forth for the salvation of your people, for salvation with your anointed. You struck the head from the house of the wicked. There it is, there it is again, the promise to his people. <clears throat> you struck the head from the house of the wicked by laying bare from foundation to neck. You thrust with his own arrows, the head of villages. They came out like a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was like feasting on the poor in secret. You walked through the sea with your horses, through the heap of great waters. When I heard my body trembled, my lips quivered at the voice. Rottenness entered my bones, and I trembled in myself, that I might rest in the day of trouble. When he comes up to the people, he will invade them with his troops. A hymn of faith, verse 17. Though the fig tree may not blossom, nor fruit be on the vines, though the labor of the olive may fail, and the fields yield no food, though the flock may be cut off from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet I will rejoice to the Lord. I will joy in the God of my salvation. The Lord God is my strength. He will make my feet like deer's feet, and he will make me walk on my high hills to the chief musician with my string instruments. We are to praise him and have faith in all circumstances. And I know it's not easy to do. I've been angry with God many times. I've questioned him many times. I've wanted out of my my circumstance, my life, many times. Um, but whenever the season passed, it never failed that I look back if, whenever that moment came and think, how did I get through that? And God not punish me even more like why why didn't i get my just you know reward for stuff that i was doing because i was angry because i was sad because i was a victim because because the world didn't get me like desma that's me should just have her way it's not like that there may be chaos and wars and all kinds of turmoil around us but we're still to behave like we are god's people like we have faith and hope we are to be the light in the darkness we are to spread his word and testify that God loves us. And He he's giving the same chance to everyone. It's not that he loves him and her and not him and her. It's that him and her have reached out to God and want a relationship with him. They've invited him in his life. There's a difference there. And I, I'm i not um, a pastor. I haven't been to seminary. But please, if you ever want to talk some more about it, um, please leave me a comment. And we could talk offline without um, having to post underneath one of these videos. As always, I hope you take care of yourself. God bless you. Bye.